Hello everyone from YouTube. I'm today doing a review on Surebonder 8510 Rivet Tool. It is a tool that allows you to install spread rivets. I bought the one that had the most common sizes for electrical installations. You got 632, 832, 1024. I had installed currently. I have 1032 installed. And then I have all the way up to quarter inch 20 thread pitch and, uh, that I can use. Basically, I just drill a hole the size of this outside of the rivet. And after I get the hole drilled, I put the rivet on the end of the tool. That holds it in there. Then you insert the rivet into a uh, blurry. Insert the rivet into wherever you need the threads repaired, say an electrical panel or any kind of electrical box. The threads are stripped and it may be almost impossible to replace the box power breaker panel would be really difficult to replace the box so you could drill a hole for this and install these rivets and you'd be good to go and an electrical box in the wall if you had to damage the drywall to get at it and reinstall it it would be more of a pain than it's worth so this you just drill a hole the size of the end of the rivet you insert it into the hole I don't have one to repair it or I'd show you how to do it, but basically you insert this into the hole you drilled and just squeeze the handle and it'll squish this area of the rivet on the end here. And once it's squished that in, it'll be impossible for the rivet to come out without being drilled out. And that will give you threads to install your screws again. So that would be much easier than replacing the panel or changing the size of the screws, which may not be possible due to the type of cover or device you're installing on the electrical panel or box because the holes may not be large enough for the cover for the um, for the larger size. Say I was doing a electrical box inside a wall and I needed a six thirty two repaired. Then I to make a hole big enough for that size up. It would be difficult for the device 
to actually be installed because the threads wouldn't the fastener may not and work in the device that I'm installing so that would make it much easier and I, I this one goes up to quarter 20 quarter 20 may not be used very much in electrical and but there may be times when I need to repair a thread for mounting something or even just installing one of these in a piece of sheet metal to make the threads stronger because there's much more threads than normally is in an electrical box or panel normally you only have the thin sheet metal that would uh, can't really get a good but a good sight of this but you got instead of just the thickness of the sheet metal having threads this one actually can't see it but there's about a quarter inch of threads to grip your fasteners and that would last a lot longer than the thickness of the sheet metal holding just a couple threads quarter 20 that was maybe about 5 sixteenths or more for threads you can see the threads go quite a ways in there on that one and that'll allow me to fix a lot of issues without having to re-thread holes the different size and having to modify whatever I'm the cover or whatever I'm using on the box being installed say I was installing a um cover and I needed to keep 632 or I'd have to drill the cover a different size it'd be easier just to drill and retap the holes and have everything original and not look out of place and that's about it for this tool you can get it on Amazon it's about $25 for the tool currently and about $25 for the tap the um, rivets and of course you'll need a set, set of drill bits so that you can drill the holes accordingly you just find a drill bit that is as close to the outside diameter of the rivet as you can and then put it in the tool squeeze it to expand it on the inside and they're impossible to remove once well not impossible but almost impossible for normal use they probably wouldn't be removable I could remove them with a drill I got the aluminum one so that if for some reason I do use them on something where the panel covers say the panel covers removed all the time to replace breakers or add circuits eventually they strip out I got the aluminum ones so if I'm doing it with a panel cover that is removed a lot or a junction box or a um, say a um, control panel that has to be the cover has to be removed for service all the time I'll use the, I can use these aluminum ones and they're easily drilled out without too much hassle because the aluminum is soft but still there's enough thread to hold and be strong enough and I'll, I'll leave a link once I have time to 
add it on a link to purchase both of these items. And thanks you lot for watching and have a nice day.